Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my Visual C Sharp tutorial. Uh, in the first part, we learned how to use a text box, a button, a list box, and a link label. Uh, in this part, I'll show you how to use a radio button and a checkbox. So, uh, select all the controls on your current form and press delete to delete them. And now add uh, three radio buttons. To do this faster, just select a radio button, click, uh, no, press control, and drag to radio button, and this way you copy it. Select one of the radio buttons and go to this checked property in the properties panel and set it to true. And as you can see, it is now checked. And uh, select a button. What we'll do is uh, select is uh, no is select what we will do is verify which one of these three radio buttons is checked and uh, display that in a message box so double click your button to switch to code view delete the old code and uh, now type if radio button one dot checked close the parentheses message box <coughs> message box that show radio button one is checked else if radio button two dot checked open braces message box message box that show radio button two is checked so what we are doing actually is to uh, check which one of the uh, radio buttons is checked. So if the first one is checked, we we'll show the first message box. Else, if the second one is checked, we we'll show the second message box, and so on. Now radio button three dot checked. Message box dot show. Uh, hello people. And now uh, let's try our app. Press F5 to debug. And press the button. Radio button 1 is checked. Select the second radio button and click the button. Radio button 2 is checked. Select the third radio button. Click on the button. Hello people. Also, we'll learn how to use checkboxes. So uh, delete the radio buttons. Uh, what's the difference between the radio buttons and the checkboxes? You can select only one radio button at a time. As for the checkboxes, you can select multiple checkboxes at a time. So add a checkbox to your form, copy it three times, and uh, double click your button again. Delete the old code. And uh, what do you want to do? We'll make a string that will hold the values if. Uh, now, we'll make a string and we'll add items to the string if a certain um, checkbox is set, so is checked. So, string uh, is checked. And now we'll check if the first checkbox is checked. So, if checkbox one dot checked is checked plus equals. Uh, check box one is checked. If check box two dot checked is checked plus equals backslash n. This is for a new line. Check box two is checked. And if checkbox three dot checked is checked plus equals backslash n for another new line. Uh, the backslash n is the equivalent of an of a enter. So checkbox three is checked. And now we'll show a message, bo a message box. Message box dot show. And uh, insert a, in, instead of typing the message inside the quotes, we'll just type 
is checked. So the message box will display the is checked message. Uh, now uh, we must initialize is checked with something. So go back to his declaration. String is checked equals quotes and close quote, close the quotes and press F5. Sorry for that. F5. So we'll check uh, the first text box and the third text box. And we click the button. Checks bo check box one is checked. Check box three is checked. Okay. We'll check uh, this text box. Check box one is checked. Checks box uh, check box two is checked, and uh, so on. Depending on what you check and uncheck, uh, a certain message will appear. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next part.